This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It is Besiktas taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do. Just look at the quality down there. This is how it looks for Chelsea. Kepa is the goalkeeper. Thiago Silva plays alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. Denis Zakaria plays alongside Mateo Kovacic in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. In the Champions League final, we're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. Redmond. And Chelsea have given us away. Redmond. Well, pick your adjective where Hakim Ziyech is concerned. Dazzling, I think, might be an appropriate one. Stuart, what will we see from him? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Is it going to end up being productive for them? A fine reading of the situation. Reese James. Ziesch. Now with James. He's given it straight to the opposition. Redmond. It's a Bubakar now. And space to exploit, maybe. Options in the centre. Well cleared away. Not to be in terms of the cross there. Goal kick coming up. A really intense pressure applied. And off target by Miles with that one. And a goal kick will ensue. Redmond. Redmond. 
No problems for the keeper. Well, this has to get better because as those stats confirm, the attacking play from both sides just hasn't been good enough. It's all been a little bit too cautious so far. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Oh, good save. Corner kick played in. Well, not the easiest of chances. Tightly marked, but not even close in the end. Kukureya. Here's Mount. So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes. Into the second half then, in this battle for Champions League glory. And in with a real chance. And he couldn't bag the first goal of the contest. Well, I can't believe he's missed the target there. That's a poor finish. Mateo Kovacic. Couldn't keep it. Zakaria. And return to Ziyech. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Ziyech. Now veering in field. And a touch of finesse. He's done it. What a moment. The opening goal in this Champions League final. And just look at the celebrations. 1-0 then. Gazal. Well, let's see about the cross. He'll take efforts like that all day long. And a poor ball. Deli Alley. And giving it away. Free kick to Chelsea. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Into the final 20 minutes. And giving the ball away. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Can they take advantage of the situation? Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this, on an occasion like this? Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Abubakar. Uh, on the scent of a winner late in this game. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Must take the lead here. Dear, oh dear, he squandered it. Well, that should have been the winner with so little time left. He can't believe he didn't score there. And they're making a change. Yeah. 
five minutes left. Ziyech. And here's Joao Felix. And just what was needed from the goalkeeper. Well, so late in the game. That's a brilliant stop from the keeper. Big moment for him. Abubakar. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? That is that after 90 minutes. They are... Well, the ball rolling again here. The first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Very quick thinking there. Oh, showing excellent vision. He knows he's got to react. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Mikhailo Mudrik. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Gezal. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. And fine goalkeeping. And there's the delivery. And the penalty has been given here. This to put them in front. In it goes. Totally converted. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. a dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider not a huge chunk of added time one minute there's a slide rule pass can they stop it going in well good defending plattered out of there first period of it And so, 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. Felix. Well, a long-range effort, but no real difficulties for the goalkeeper. Out of play for what will be a Chelsea throw. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. And teammates to play it to. Will it happen this time? Oh, a penalty. Not at all what they wanted with time running out. And it's also going to be a booking. Well, he's absolutely right. It's a penalty. And a timely penalty save. Five minutes remaining in this the second period of extra time. Takes it on. Real chance. And throwing himself up the ball. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. Time for a change then. And he takes it on. Superb block. And there it is, full time, they are the Champions League winners. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives.
And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Here we go. The Champions League winners. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.